Hello and welcome to another session of Business Builders. I am excited to be talking to a visionary founder of a business here in India today. It is my pleasure to welcome Narendra Pasupati, who is the chief farmer, the founder, and also the CEO of Nandu's, a farm to table meat retailing business. Let's start with hearing a bit more about Nandu's and, and your vision for growth uh, across the region. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for having me. Three things uh, very passionate to my heart was farmers, sustainability, and food. My family has been doing poultry for about 60 years, and uh, we have been predominantly operating in the B2B segment. We produce a lot of chicken and sell in the B2B market. So the passion was to now produce chicken without any hormones, steroids, or chemicals, and specifically antibiotics. And bring it directly to the end consumer through our omni-channel meat retailing strategy and that's what Nandu's is all about. Tell us about how you got that direct-to-customer idea up and running. As a B2B producer, we were producing a lot of chicken and selling it away to middlemen and we never got our price. Secondly, food supply chain is extremely non-transparent. You can't trace your food, you don't know how it was produced, it's sort of like a black box. And that was not acceptable to me. So we technology enabled our production systems to share that traceability with our consumers. We started producing without any chemicals or antibiotics and brought that directly to the end consumer. All driven purely because I wanted to cut out the middlemen and have that relationship with our consumers. You talked about a challenge that a lot of businesses face, which is supply chain management. So how did you use technology to help you to understand that supply chain mechanism? The supply chain of poultry, which consists of feed milling, breeding operations, hatcheries, broiler farming, slaughtering and retailing, is a very complex piece. And I just had to tie that all together with technology to bring out that traceability and transparency very early on we brought in a homegrown ERP that spans the entire supply chain. All of the data across the supply chain is captured in this system in real time. We have production centers in rural parts of India where internet connectivity is a problem. So we put it on the cloud and made it available across all of our production locations and enabling our technicians and uh, veterinarians to monitor the flocks and deliver the best product. That's really interesting. You've built these homegrown systems and ERP systems on the cloud. It would be great to hear if you have any metrics or data that actually prove the effectiveness of doing it that way. When we initially built these systems, we were hosting them on expensive servers in our office with lease lines and we were seeing up times of our ERP and the point of sale systems about 70% of the time. The minute we moved to AWS, we were up 99% of our time. And secondly, we were secure. Having moved this entire infrastructure uh, to the cloud has saved 40% of our tech infrastructure budget. That is so great to hear. What you're talking about is exactly what we're trying to achieve for our customers. Scalability, security, cost management. Very interested to learn about what does the future hold for you? How can AWS and cloud technology help you to scale to the future? So we are beginning to look at the next generation of technology which will increase our efficiency and help us to scale rapidly. One of the things that we are working with AWS is forecasting. We want to apply intelligence artificial intelligence and machine learning and predictive analytics to help us actually predict the demand for tomorrow so that we can stock up appropriately, reduce the wastage and make this whole business extremely efficient. It is a pleasure to be able to hear about how you're building your business here in India. I really want to say thank you very much for joining us today. It has been a pleasure talking to you. And thanks everyone. See you in the next session.